Hey guys, it's Greg. Today I want to do a full review of Meta's new front-end developer professional certificate. Meta being Facebook, by the way. If you didn't know that, Facebook also invented the React library in JavaScript, which we'll see very shortly. And that is the main reason why you can really, really trust Meta to teach you about JavaScript and front-end development. Luckily, this has no degree or prior experience required. So no matter who you are, you can just jump into this and start on your path to become a front-end developer. 4.7 stars on 233, 233 ratings uh, is not many ratings because it is relatively new, uh, but very high ratings for how it's been done so far. We are taught by Meta staff, of course. If it wasn't, then, well, this wouldn't really be that useful at all. And it is included with Coursera Plus. This is very, very important. So if you want other certificates or other courses as well, then make sure to start Coursera Plus instead of just enrolling in the certificate. You will save a lot of money that way. And you can see the links, uh, all the links to that in the description of this video, of course. So what will you learn? Create a responsive website using HTML to structure content, CSS to handle visual style, and JavaScript to develop interactive experience. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, and unsurprisingly, the we have the three main components of front-end development. Pretty much anyone will say, you know, if you want to be a front-end developer, master HTML, CSS, CSS and JavaScript. Uh, people might say React, which is a JavaScript library. Uh, and other people might say also Bootstrap as well. And so we have all of these things. So jumping back here, we have Learn Bootstrap CSS Framework to create web pages and work with GitHub repositories and version control. So they teach you all of that core development stuff that's not really super particular to front-end development, but is extremely important in all aspects of development. And if you just want to call yourself a developer, well, you can kind of do this after you do this course because you'll learn all of the fundamentals of that. Prepare for a coding interview. Learn best approaches to problem solving and build portfolio-ready projects you can share during job interviews. This one is maybe a little bit of a stretch. There is a lot more uh, preparation you should do for coding interviews, uh, but this, of course, will help. Skills you will gain, CSS, that's what it stands for, cascading style sheets, HTML, it unsurprisingly doesn't unravel that, but it's a hypertext markup language, UI slash UX design. So, of course, uh, all of this stuff, all these technologies to build front end, but how do you actually want it to look and feel, UI and UX design, React, the JavaScript library, web development tools, user interface, front end, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of things in here. Uh, the most interesting one is object-oriented programming, and JavaScript is basically an object-oriented programming language. It's actually a little bit weird, and that's a bigger conversation that I'm not going to have today. Uh, so about the certificate, you can see 565,000 recent reviews, which is phenomenal. Um, this really did just come out, so that's a very big number. I am not going to read all of that for you. Uh, I'm going to jump straight into courses. So if you were to start this, you would start with course number one here, Introduction to Front-End Development. Welcome to Introduction to Front-End Development, the first course in the Meta Front-End Developer program. So nothing super interesting. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this. But basically, you can describe after this course, describe the front-end developer role, explain the core and underlying technologies that power the internet. That's actually quite nice because uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of front-end development courses are just going to jump straight into all of the technical stuff and you will, they might skip a little bit of that extra understanding, which can be very helpful. Uh, use HTML to create a simple web page, use CSS to control the appearance of a simple web page, and explain what React is. So not be a an absolute uh, god, or at least not even close, probably not even know how to use it. Um, but at least they start talking about it as these are HTML, CSS, and then they're saying like, hey, we're going to get more uh, as we progress further into this, you're going to be able to optimize and do things a lot faster than you are in this course. Second course, programming with JavaScript. We have JavaScript is the programming language that powers the modern web. It really is, and there's really no alternative at all. Uh, in this course, you will learn the basic concept of web development with JavaScript. You'll work with functions, objects, all of the common stuff for JavaScript, uh, and how to use JavaScript to discover interactive possibilities with modern technologies. So there's a lot of really modern stuff with JavaScript. Uh, and finally, you'll uh, you'll do a testing code with uh, with Jest as well. 
Okay, so course three about version control. So what have we done so far? Well, uh, HTML a bit, CSS a bit, uh, JavaScript a bit, now version control. Okay, so how do you start organizing and uh, submitting your code if you were to, uh, to a more professional uh, code base or just on your own, what are good practices and how do you share this with people? Uh, version control is going to be very useful for that. Uh, and I'm sure that they have GitHub can create and use a GitHub repository. Some of you may already know how to do that. Uh, if not, well, then this is great because this is very important and that skill will take you a long way for all coding. That's extremely helpful. HTML and CSS in depth. So that's kind of why I was saying a bit before HTML a bit, CSS a bit, JavaScript a bit. So now in depth, you will start, well, it's not really a need to go into the specifics here. You're going to get more advanced in HTML and CSS. And then now we can go to the basics of React. So you're going to finally start using uh, JavaScript's or React's JavaScript library so that you can build UIs uh, for web and mobile applications. Some people not might not know this. Uh, it does build mobile applications or apps as well. And so front end development is, you know, a, a very versatile skill. It's, it's incredible if you can learn how to do this stuff well. Uh, not going to go into the specifics, but you know, you, you had one course in kind of uh, React basics, just getting used to it and well, getting more and more used to it, more of the fundamentals and, uh, the more complicated things that you can do. Principles of UI slash UX design, basically making sure that everyone has a comfortable experience with your application. And so not just about the technical skills, but about how they actually, uh, you know, how you should make applications or the various choices that you have. Uh, and the impact that those will have uh, on the end user, because this is this is all about uh, creating a nice uh, public, you know, you know, user face for the for the user. Front end developer capstone, so a capstone project. Not really going to go into that. I'm. Uh, you can go into that on your own. Uh, and a little bit of coding interview preparation. Okay, so strategic insights and tips for successful interviewing. To be honest, this is, I would not expect yourself to be super, super ready after these types of coding interviews after this, although it will certainly help. Okay, so those are the nine courses. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's going to take a long time. If you do enroll in this certificate, then uh, expect this to take a long time. I don't remember what they have as the actual time expectancy. I wasn't able to find how long it would take, but honestly, those don't really help that much anyway because people generally have a, a very, very wide range in how long these sets of courses take. Uh, I, for myself, I was looking over some machine learning content and I covered like a few weeks worth in like a few hours because I was just really quickly going over it and already a little bit familiar. Um, so that's fine. Each of you will go your own pace and that's totally okay. Do remember that this does uh, this is included in Coursera Plus. Uh, I have all the links in the description of this video. If you are interested in uh, in this certificate or in Coursera Plus, I have a video down there that'll tell you a little bit more about Coursera Plus. Um, and I'll also include, uh, I'm actually going to record this after this video, uh, but once that's out, I will include uh, the backend developer professional certificate in the in the description of this video as well you can take a look at my video there and uh, yeah let me know if you guys have taken this if you if you're liking it um, clearly many of you are with the point 4.7 stars and have a great uh, have a great day have a great week guys um, yeah I'll see you later bye bye